What if Deku had rewind part three? Before I do get in, please go down and check my second channel, Anime Collects. This channel is going to have Black Clover, Dragon Ball, Black Clover, and Dragon Ball Z What Ifs, and also maybe a little bit of Funko Pop videos, something like that. Anything to do with anime, basically, along with those other What Ifs, as this channel is now going to be focusing on only My Hero Academia What Ifs. Now, where I left off is where I left off. Both Izuku or Izuku finds out that they will be doing a cavalry battle, and he has 10 million points. He's kind of shocked by this, but he thinks nothing of it until Midnight says that they have to form teams. Since they have to form teams. Izuku looks around only to have nobody want to join his team besides Uraraka, which she joins. He goes to Tokoyami, he joins, and Mei Hatsume, which she asks if they can use her babies. This, in turn, allows for Izuku to have a team. Now, after, after this and the event starts, everything goes the same. As it does in the anime, except when one of Izuku's boots, or Mei's, one of Mei's babies, gets stuck on Moneta's ball and in turn breaks it, Izuku rewinds it so it's fixed again. So they end up going up where t the 10 million point counter is not stolen. Thanks to this, Izuku's team gets first place. Now, after this, Midnight spins a wheel again, as it's announced that they will be doing a 1v1 battle against each other. Izuku ends up getting placed against Shinso as the first match. So, he stays there while everyone else goes up to the bleachers or their, or their classes, or their classes, like basically bleacher chair room where they watch. Now, once both Izuku and them are there, Ojuro stops Izuku and tells him that the kid has some type of brainwashing cork. So, Izuku obviously doesn't tr tries not to talk to him, which is incredibly hard as uh, Shinso starts throwing insults at Izuku's classmates. So he's like, it must be lucky having good cork. I bet life was so easy for you. Izuku then stops as he's like, life wasn't easy. My sister was kidnapped by by the Yakuza leader Overhaul. Sh Izuku was able to get this out and Shinsu was so shocked he couldn't activate his cork. And he's like, what? This kid seems like he had a harder life than me. And then Izuku says again, I've been running from him entire life because he wanted my cork to make cork erasing bullets. Do you know how hard that must be being kicked out at the age of 12 by your own mother? Shinso again couldn't couldn't put Izuku into a brainwash. He's like, he just can't. For some reason, he, he just, his conscience won't let him. Izuku has enough of Shinso and uses a 10% flick or Delaware Smash, I think it is, for Izuku, and just flies him out and has Shinso smash right into a wall. And he ends up being knocked out for this. Izuku just walks away pretty pissed as this kid just insulted his life, saying how it must have been easy. He's still kind of pissed until his match with Todoroki. Remember, Todoroki uses his fire now, so and he's been training it. It surely isn't as strong as it could have been, but it's definitely stronger. Now, now once this begins, Todoroki sends a massive thing of fire, which blocks out Izuku's view, so he can't see the massive ice being sent straight towards him. Zuku didn't see it, but he saw it at the last second, causing him to 
overestimate how much one for all he needed to do, and he broke his finger as he used 100% of it. He flinches by the pain but keeps going. He do- puts 30% into his finger as he smashes himself up as he goes for a punch. He says, Texas smash right towards Todoroki, sending him straight into Todoroki's wall of ice. Todoroki gets up and goes, sends a huge torrent or cyclone of fire right at Izuku. Izuku dodges this by flicking himself to one side and then sending another Texas smash right at Todoroki, which breaks through even more of his Ice. Izuku seeing how hard of a challenge this is, he knows he's going to have to do something that will probably put him in Recovery Goal's office for maybe like 30 minutes. He enwraps himself with Rewind, so he starts going 100% to where he starts breaking his bones, but they immediately get rewinded. Izuku just lifts off with his foot going straight towards Todoroki as he punches Todoroki right in the face or cheek as he's sent flying out of the arena and straight into a wall just like Shinso where he ends up being knocked out. Suku ends up collapsing after that after being announced as the winner. From the exhaustion he just pulled with... The exhaustion he just pulled with how much energy he just wasted by putting Rewind over himself. Not to mention how much pain that caused him. Now, remember, Izuku was so focused on saving Iri, I think he didn't even notice the pain. Now, in this, he was pretty focused on beating Todoroki, but he could probably still notice it. After Izuku is all healed up, it's announced that he will be facing Bakugo, in the finals so he walks down and he walks down remember Deku doesn't know didn't know Bakugo but Bakugo calls him Izuku instead of Deku but Bakugo still doesn't respect him or he kind of does they see each other as somewhat rivals so as soon as they lined up, both Bakugo and Izuku smirked. They say to each other, this is where we see who's who's the best. Go all out, 100%. So, as soon as President Mike yells, go, they both charge at each other. Bakugo sending an explosion, and Izuku sending a Texas smash. These end up canceling each other out, where Izuku flips over Bakugo and touches Bakugo, causing for him to become a baby. Izuku softly picks up the baby Bakugo and sets him outside of the ring, where Izuku is hailed as the champion or number one of the UA Sports Festival. So after that, is once Izuku is on the podium, he gets his medal and goes back. Once they're back inside the classroom, Zawa congratulates everyone as he starts calculating. As he starts calculating, what th- he starts calculating, what they're going, or how many internships requested them. Izuku ends up getting a lot, but he sees one in particular, Night Eye. He chooses Night Eye. He chooses Night Eye, and he ends up going there. On the first day, he sees Night Eye again, and he meets, and Mirio is also there. They're pretty much friends, I'd say. Now, after all this they end up going on patrol. Todoroki ends up saving Ida from the hero killer, if you guys want to know. But they end up going on patrol, where Eerie ends up running into them. 
Izuku is obviously shocked that he just found his sister, so he picks up Eerie and it's like, Eerie, what they do to you? He sees all the scars lining Eerie's body that weren't covered up with the bandages. She's like, Eerie, what happened? She starts crying into Izuku's chest saying, they tested on me. Izuku obviously gets pretty mad. Izuku puts Eerie into his rewind as all the scars slowly disappear. This does not affect their age. It's kind of like rewind healing. So, so they end up rewind healing them. Or Eerie. That is when Overhaul comes out to see Izuku there. He's like, oh, Eerie, why don't you come back? That's exactly when he sees Izuku. He's like, so, a rematch from last time. He pulls out a gun and puts in a quirk, destroying bullet, and shoots Mirio. After Izuku set Eerie down, who Mirio was blocking Eerie, so he ends up losing his quirk. Izuku doesn't have time to rewind him, as he immediately puts on his 100% and rewind, as he charges right in on overhaul. This is when that, I think it's like Rappa or something, came out of one of the doors and combined with him, as the super giant beast starts, starts to basically accumulate. Izuku sends a 100% smash at him as it keeps regenerating. Izuku knows that he's going to have to kill it or destroy it in one blow. So he does 1 million percent smash and smashes overhaul into the ground, knocking him out. Izuku ends up falling to one knee as he sees Mirio trying to use his cork as he just as he sensed a very big loss in power from him. Izuku runs over to Mirio and he's like, they made a cork destroying, a destroying drug. Izuku tries to rewind him and it works as Mirio now has his cork again. Now, once they go back to Night Eye and after putting Overhaul in jail, Night Eye is extremely proud of both Izuku and Mirio. They just saved Izuku's little sister and hopefully saved her a lot of trauma. So that's where I'm going to leave it off, guys. Sorry if it's a bit short. But yeah, guys, make sure you guys go check out Anime Collects. And yeah, guys, bye.